broken systems back. Um, bear with me because I'm eating my lunch on my lunch break while I'm making this video. Um, so I told you know, I was going to drop this story. I, I made, oh man, what the fuck? I had, um, it's going to be called, when you think your homies in jail, in prison, got your bag, you think that they your homies, man, you can't trust a convict or an inmate, really, when it comes down to it, because the same people that think that they're your friends are snakes in the grass, and that's what happened this time. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not at fault for this because where I'm going with it is I played into it because I wanted to see how far this dude was going to take it. Um, so the guy, it's obviously the, the dude I interviewed or was going to interview. Uh, before I came along, they were best friends. Uh, best friends. Like, I mean, like, like, you know, they're like, I could see that they generally, like, I could see between their energies and shit, like, they generally cared about each other. Like, they generally did. All right. Well, Joey, <laughs> being Joey, now, here's somebody, myself, who has only been in three relationships in my entire life, a four-year prison bid one, which was my first one, my narcissistic asshole I put in prison for 10, Michael. So I dated Anthony for four, Tony for five, I mean, I'm sorry, six, and Michael for five. All right, so long relationships, you know, type, type of issue. So, I started reading tarot cards for this entire pod. <laughs> because, you know, Joey couldn't keep his mouth shut. I love the kid, I love him to death, but sometimes he just, he runs his mouth a little bit. Um, he runs his mouth just a little too much. That's like what that's what gets him in trouble the most. Um, now I told him it wasn't a good idea to give Ohio my number. I know why he was doing it because he was purely doing it. So just in case Joey went to the hole. Ohio could get a hold of me and tell me they went to the hole if I couldn't figure out what's going on, you know? So, I was trying to do the right thing, but, oh, Mr. Little Ohio over here decided that he was going to make his move. So, he would call me, right? He's always sleeping or whatever, or he would say, no, I know this be a lie. Because he would say, Joey told me to call you and tell you that he went to sleep. Then see, he's going to be asleep. And I was like, that sounds weird. Why the fuck would he? Whatever. So, and then I figured out. All right, let me see what's going to happen. So, I, I played it. I played the scenario out of my head. I was like, oh. I said, I'm going to see how, how far this motherfucker's going to take it. And because I was mortified. Not mortified, that's not the word. I was very disappointed that this dude called Joey and him were a so-called friend. Okay. No friend of mine that's a true friend is going to go out and rip my dude out from underneath of me in a sneaky fucking way. Oh, hell, I did it not once but twice. Okay. He tried twice. So he tried to snake his way in and steal me out from under his homeboy. That's the reason I went along with it for a minute because I was like, I, I really want, generally want to see. And he proved, proved my point 100%. I was like, you son of a... I said, you are a snake, dude. I said, how do you do that to your friend? So Joey found out. Obviously found out about it. Um, and then... Joey told him, you're going to stop fucking around with her. Or you're going to stop calling her. It's my girl, da 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 da. Rightfully so. All right. 
So here I have two assholes fighting over something that they both have not had yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and I, I know that Joey was genuine because, like I said, Joey brought my self-esteem up and nobody's ever been able to do that. Like, nobody has ever been able to do that. And he somehow fucking did it. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say, like, he, he somehow got me to start loving myself. My bad. Hot. So... I told Joey that I played along with it, and I said, "Hey, look, man. I said, I'll, uh, I'll tell you, and I'll, I'll take my part as like I shouldn't have entertained it." Um, I see it hot, but I did. Um, so then I start getting into it. Ohio's trying to call me. Joey catches him dialing my fucking number. On the damn kiosk. I mean, on, on the phone. And that's when Joey was on the phone with me. And then all of a sudden I heard this, now nah, fuck you. And I heard the phone go click. And I was like, man, now I'm stuck in the middle of this. I'm like, man, like, fuck. So I don't know. I'm, I'm sitting here going, like, you know, a couple a couple of minutes passed by, which I thought was like, it felt like a, it felt like an hour, but it was really like, it was I probably wasn't even four minutes. Um... Huh. Um, he gets he calls me. I get the phone. All I hear in the background is like, Lauren, I fucked up. I, I said, I fucked him up. He said, I know I told you I wasn't going to fuck him up, but I fucked him up. And I was like, ma'am, right here I'm going. Now you're going to get your ass thrown in the hole. These guards are going to come up in here and fucking r ransack your ass and take you to the hole. You're going to lose all your good time over what? This fucking idiot? Well, it's Lawrenceville. The guards never showed up. So, I don't know what really, really, really transpired because I wasn't there, but... So, they got to beefing and arguing back and forth again. And I just finally was like, put him on the fucking phone, Joey. I said, put him on the phone. So, I, you know, he put him on the phone and I, you know, was like, you know what, dude? Like, this is bullshit. I said, we, I told you this from the jump. Like, this was not going to happen. Like, you're a snake in the grass. You just tried to just steal me out from underneath, underneath your homeboy. When in reality, I know what I know what your MO is, dude. You be stealing bitches out from dudes all the time because isn't that what you did with your first girl? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Didn't stay with you through prison. She, like, got rid of you. Could have fucking hack it. Hmm. Well... The thing about people in prison, it don't matter what their intent, like how good their intentions are, because all it takes is one picture. They see that this person's got a girl that's putting money on his books, making sure that he's straight, picking up the phone every time he calls. People are jealous of that. So they prey on that real quick. And then, like I said, after this whole incident happened, he didn't call me. Up until the day Joey went to the hole. Voluntarily. All right. So literally five minutes after Joey left, he called me. It wasn't even five fucking minutes. Um, I'll pick up the phone. I'm like, you know, what is it? I just want to tell you Joey went to the hole. I was like, I know he went to the hole. I said, but that's not why you called me. He's like, yeah, it is. I said, no, it's not. I was like, you had ulterior motives like a motherfucker. You called me to tell me that that's what you used to cover your shit up. But instead, you used it to call me because you knew he was at the party. He could have whooped your ass no more. All right. Like, Ohio, you can't blame him for what he did to you. All right. Because at the end of the day, he had every right to be pissed. What I don't condone, and Joey knows this, and Joey knows this now, this is why Joey doesn't get money on his commissary as we speak. All right. That's no secret. I'd be looking really good at pictures when I take pictures. So... Naturally, who, who the fuck wouldn't want to show me off, right? So Joey, being the Leo that he is, he's, he's running around I'm like, I mean, my girl this, my girl that, my girl this. And I told him, I don't do that, dude. I said, because you're going to open up a whole, a whole 
bullshit to where I want to get phone call. Also, like I already know the game, dog. Like, and you, even if you're not doing it and you never been a part of it, like I already know what's coming because you got some thirsty ass dudes up in there that will do anything to get a piece of the the pie, whether it's money or what. So Ohio gets out a while afterwards. Now, look, generally speaking. I don't wish ill upon the dude. He's a good person, okay. He really is, but like he, he, the way he, the way he goes about, or the way he goes about it, is not okay. Like, dude, you knew, you knew he was, you knew I. You, first off, you knew I was taking it. Be, you knew that was your homeboy, dude. Like, I would have never done that to one of my friends, ever. Like somebody that I really truly cared about, that was my friend. I would have never done that, never. Um. You know, I'm sorry, dude. Like, you didn't get to me before he did. Okay, but I found when I, when I... Joey, Joey is Joey. I don't know how else to explain it. I love him. I love him a lot. He, I, we've been in past lives together in readings. Um, and I'm like, well, we've been in past lives too. Just because we were in a past life together in Ohio doesn't mean that we were fucking or doing something like... That we weren't like lovers or some shit, okay? Like... He's obsessed. I'm like, I'm, I'm about cancers. He's a cancer. Like, I'm about cancers. That's like, all my men have been cancers. But they're all so fucking goddamn emotional. And they, they put their own foots in their mouths. And then they do shit like this. And they they push people away. You want to say some nasty shit to me? Because you and Joey are the only two that have my phone number. When you got out, it was just funny, Ohio, that uh, four days after you get out, I get all these fucking phone calls from fucking idiots in jail that I don't even know. And this is when Joey was still in the hole, so there's no way he could have done it. But you got there supposed to oh man, they look for these people. I don't give a fuck. Ohio, you did it at the end of the day. And then the last time that one person called me, it was I don't know if it was Joey's old tell me or somebody. I, I I called Ohio back and I said, or the guy, I said, How'd you get my number, dude? I said, You wanna be you I mean I, I was you wanna be you wanna you wanna you wanna do some decency, you wanna you know what I'm saying, get you a little five minute free fucking phone call? Um tell me who the fuck gave you my number. Ohio. Well, that makes sense because Ohio was the only other person that had my freaking phone number. So, the moral of the story is this. If it's true. I got something special with Joey. You all see that I could compliment I could comment all the time about like you know I know you love the kid I do I do love him I do love him with all my heart I like I said he got a raw deal and I you know what I'm saying like maybe it's just a Libra in me or what never been with a Leo so it's kind of new but I just want to make it clear and I want everybody to know Ohio is not my dude Ohio will never be my dude it is what it is. That's why he was blocked on my, my YouTube. That's why he's been blocked on all my TikTok accounts. He won't. Because you had one chance and you fucked it up again. And you literally thought you could do it one more time. Well, Mr. Player over here. Don't, don't play the game with somebody that knows the game that well. Because I do know that game all too fucking well. So... Mm. And all you assholes in Lawrenceville, if you ever see this, when you get out, don't ever contact me. I'll block the number and everything. I don't know, you all in jail, fucking delinquent. So you, I don't know if you figure out a way to call me or not. But I guarantee you, you'll probably have my number memorized. And the next fucking compound you go to, I'll get a fucking phone call. So I'm letting you know now. A few people in Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville can kiss my ass. And that's that's the end of it. I just want to get through these two years. And I'm going to marry this kid. And, and, and he's going to move to South Carolina. And we're, we're going to be alright. That's the hope. There you have it. I just told you a bunch of shit I didn't even want to say. On a freaking social media platform. But I did it.
So, your homies, did you like that video? Oh, you kicking it with it? These homies, oh, these my homies, my homie. I'm telling you right now, anybody that's been in jail, you're dealing with thieves and people that, that, li that lie and take things. Not one of them motherfuckers are your friend. They might play you off as a friend, but you ain't their friend. So watch who you, you be telling things to. Watch. And ladies, ladies. We have a big one for you. If you are thinking about writing this dude in prison, I'm warning you and heed it from somebody that's done it and made this mistake. Do not give them money. Don't be spending all this money on them until they realize that they could, you know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, that's how they take advantage of the whole situation. Oh, Ryan, one more thing. Then where I go. This is quick. I'm not happy. Funny, prior up to when, before Joey went to the hole, uh, apparently Ohio had no problem getting money to send in. His homeboy was sending him money all the time. Well, ironically speaking, after this last go around, it's funny how the first time I talk to you after not talking to you, and you say, my, my boy lost his job, I don't got no money coming in. Those are the words you said. And you want me to pay for it? Is that what you're saying? Okay. I'm gonna get this straight. I just, and he's like, well, no, man, it's just a coincidence. Motherfucker, it's not no damn coincidence. Then you, then you go out and you hit up your ex when you get out. After I told you, not a good idea. Not a good idea. You do it. And then you didn't even get the closure you're looking for. Um, so guess what, buddy? A good person. I hope you stay. I hope you stay out of jail. I hope you stay out of prison. And I'm sorry I have to do it like this, but you just want to listen. You're too damn emotional. I can't.